Hey guys, it is Michelle. Um, haven't really done a sit down video in quite some time, but um, I went out for for the first time um, since obviously everything that has transpired. At some point, we'll do a sit down, and I'm not sure how much we'll be able to talk about um, everything, but. Um, anyway, so, I went and I had a facial, um, I had a nice walk, um, which is something I do do regularly, but, um, uh, I went out walking with a friend, and, um, I took myself to my favorite local, um, just small coffee place, and I got myself a pastry and a coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. And I just had a nice day. I um, went with a friend that I haven't been with in a very long time, and we just went, uh, time escaped us, but um, I went to Marshall's, and I wanted to show you what I picked up. So the first thing that I purchased is actually going to be a Christmas present. I am 1,000% confident that they'll not be watching this video, um, but so I'll show you. Um, so I got a candle, and this one is a very nice masculine scent. It's very, very similar to Midsummer's Night by Yankee Candle. Um, it's called the Masculine, uh, oh no, wait, Lubin Company Barbershop. So that is the candle. Um... Next, my friend convinced me to purchase this. Um, honestly, I, I was a little bit emotional because it's a dog toy. Um, but um, I'm going to use it as decoration for Halloween. It's Beetlejuice. You guys know I love Beetlejuice. I was fortunate enough to see it on Broadway before... Um, they took it off Broadway, which was very sad. I was very upset to see that happen. But I got to see it with um, almost the entire original cast. They had to switch out Lydia and one, um, one or two others after COVID because they the contracts and stuff like that. But There's some interesting people around here lately. Anyway. So, I got him to be a decor piece. Super cute. He would have been too big for my baby. Um, I actually saw him before we lost her, but it was too big. But I purchased it for Halloween decor, and we're almost we're already out of battery. Hopefully we can make it through this, though. Next, I got this. Um, it's a highlighter by Pat McGrath Labs from... Bridgerton. I've never watched the show. It's a show on Netflix, but it is this is so beautiful and I didn't have any fingerprints in it, which is great. So this is $20. I do know that this brand sell it's a very high-end brand. But um look at that gorgeous gold color. You can see it's got a little cupie on it with a crown. I'm very excited to use this on my lids. Um this is one of my absolute favorite colors, and I cannot wait um, to use it as a eyeshadow because I love using golds. Um, metallics tend to be my favorite. I am wearing um, a purple color today, but I really, really love golds um, as far as my eyes typically. Um, next, I got... It looked so good on. I couldn't help myself. I purchased... This long, almost trench-like blazer in this beautiful, bright Barbie pink. It's got this Barbie vibe or Legally Blonde vibe to it. It's got these really pretty pearl-esque buttons with the um, rhinestones, but on it looks so beautiful. I 